Hey, this is saying so many invite updates. Uh, yeah. Um, so Google likes to put in their Google Meet every time. If you don't click no now, that's kind of abusive of them. Um, I have nothing against using Google Meet. It's not what we agreed. A really good, a really good conversation with uh, um, uh, uh, Owen Friel, who's uh, in somewhere in Kuala Lumpur, or, you know, almost exactly the other side of the planet, uh, over Google Meet last night. It was, uh, it was really amazing. It was like we were in the same room. No, no latency at all. But it's probably due to the fact that we both have non-sucky internet connections. <laughs> yeah, more than more depends. than Google Meet. Next week. Um. All right, so we have a whole a whole bunch of thanks to Thomas. We have a whole bunch of uh, of things to walk through. Good, Dave. It's here. Um. Dave, did you just get an update? Did you see an update to uh, the the uh, invite as I deleted the Google Meet link that they uh, unhelpfully provided? Uh, yes, it just arrived. I just sent emails saying I was having problems connecting to the WebEx because the link was saying there was no meeting today, even though the invite said there was. So Yeah, that's because I don't have the recurrence set for Friday properly, so I have to explicitly hit start. Gotcha. And I was tardy doing that. So, uh, but um, yes, I was already joining. Uh, the uh, update came in at uh, two minutes after the hour, so I just now got it in my box. I just concerned that I confused some people with that. Okay, so uh, Thomas gave us two, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, Kathleen edits. Um, I suggest we start with those, if that's okay. Sounds good. Um, maybe we can figure out, <clears throat> Thomas, if you want to point us at a specific one that's low hanging fruit let me find the stupid window put it on the screen should we go through them in numerical order those that are prs already they they should be relatively hanging fruit that they those that i wasn't sure about have been converted into issues so oh, you have some yeah you have prs yeah so so i'm sorry i'm just trying to get the right find the right 117 yeah, so I'm just trying to bring that on the screen, and I'm not just finding. I have too many open windows <laughs> in the window list. Um, there we go. I figured it would be the last one. So you said, uh, what did you say? One Numerical order, so 117. 117. Oh, you've been through them as well already, Dave. Um, just at seven o'clock, maybe. Well, maybe just at seven minutes ago, I opened the first two. And they consist of sounds reasonable, should include, includes, would result. Uh, let me commit those objections. Suggestions from Dave? Um, <clears throat> the only one that didn't look like it, the only phrase here that didn't look like a uh, Simpler rephrasing, I just wanted to call people's attention to when I read it, I thought it was okay, is line 394 uh, mentions the term root of trust, where that term was not in the section, at least in that paragraph before. Yeah, the underlying component is the root of trust in the nested staged or changed attest attest chained attestation evidence produced. Yeah, that was the biggest change in this PR was the addition of that sentence. I just want to be picky and 
start the these on new lines. Sentences on new lines. If that's okay, because it's much easier. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't get it right. Because uh, it makes it much easier if there are subsequent edits. Mm -hmm. Does the other one have the same problem? Yeah, let me just. Okay, so you were specifically, we're talking about this. I'm saying, line. I yeah. think that sentence is okay, but since that one is the biggest change in here, I just wanted to call that one to everybody else's attention too. I actually think that's a really good addition. I think yeah. that 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 um, it, it ties the, the, the yeah. fact that, yeah, there's all this complexity, but the, the unifying thing, I think that's a really good thing to say. Yep. So I'm, I, I'm okay with it. I just didn't want to gloss over it, make sure everybody's okay with it. But yeah, sounds like you and I are fine with it, so. Yeah, I'm okay. Sounds good. Cool. Um, so I'm going to hit this button, and while I'm this is clicking, Zin Zin Fan, Eotech, I, I don't know your name. Do you want to introduce yourself for a moment? I probably m have mangled your name, Shin Shin. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Shin Shin Fan. Uh, head of cryptography at IOTEX, a uh, Silicon Valley startup, uh, focusing on building the uh, uh, blockchain and the trust uh, uh, IoT device. Uh, I believe IOTEX just joined the company's computing consortium, is that correct? Uh, yeah. Hi, Dave. Yep. And so, uh, welcome. Glad you can participate in the uh, RAS discussions as well. So, it's great to see. Yeah. Cool. Nice to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so um, great. So let's continue through number 118. I started on this one. I didn't get to the end. But uh, um, so here, I don't remember whose text was the uh, multi-chassis router. Was that Eric's text? Because I had a question that it looked like this was a change in the meeting. But since this wasn't my text, I need to confirm. You can see the old text says... Um, the multi-chassis router, blah, 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 can be logically treated as one, sorry, by interconnecting multiple routers, right? And logically mm -hmm. treated by one router. And it says among these routers, meaning among the interconnected multiple routers, there is only one main router that connects to the verifier, right? So my right. And then this that, became multi-chassis, which is not necessarily well, what, the same thing. Yeah. Uh, well, hold on, because um, the first part is right, right? Because in the... 468 said it says the multi-chassis router blah 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 can be logically treated as one router for simpler management that's the first phrase the multi-chassis mm -hmm. router provides a management point that's fine but when it says is the only one that connects to the verifier that's wrong in their old text because the only one is not referring to the multi-chassis router it's talking about one main router that's among the routers and that are interconnected and so the latter part of the sentence then n is the only one i think is wrong is the multi-chassis router is not the thing that connects to the main router. Sorry, it's not the thing that connects to the verifier. One of the interconnected multiple routers, which is the main router, is the one that connects, not the multi-chassis router per se. So uh, good good morning, uh, Dave and others. Uh, good afternoon and evening to those <laughs> with. This is uh, Elliot. Um, I think what you're hitting here, and, and I apologize for jumping in as I normally do, but I think what you're hitting here is that there are a couple of different models for um, multi-chassis devices, right? One of which is you have one guy that's always master, another of which is there's an elected master, another of which is, um, you know, some other thing which I can't even speak to. Um, and so I, I, don't, I, I don't know how to generalize the text, but I, I think that's what you're aiming for, right, Dave? Well, it's not my text. I'm just observing that uh, the old text and Kathleen's new proposed text, at least I assume it's Kathleen's text, um, have a very different meaning. 
And unless somebody tells me technically that the old meaning was wrong, then I would want to preserve the meaning because I personally don't know any better. Okay, so, yeah. So Eric's not on this call. What if we remove the word only? Um, uh, the problem uh, is there are two phrases here, right? A multi-chassis yeah. router provides a management point. Yes. Yeah. The, a multi-chassis router is the only one that connects to the verifier. Incorrect. Um, the old sentence said, among the interconnected routers, there is one that connects to the verifier which is a very yes. different meaning than saying the multi-chassis router is the only one, the only one of what, right? So why don't we undo this change then? Uh, so, can, can I make a, a suggested a, a modification? Yeah, if, I, if you have I specific knowledge, the, please do. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can't read Kathleen's mind or, or anything, but, but what if it's, it, I think what is intended is multi -chass, a multi-chassis router provides a managed point, um, a, a, a management point that connects to yes. the verifier. Yes, I think so. Mm, okay, that's also a change in meaning. But if you're saying technically that that's correct, I'm fine with that. But I don't know that I'm, I just, think I'm sure that's right. I'm right. not saying accept this change, but maybe propose it. You know, because I think that's probably what what is meant. Well, this this is my right Cisco yeah. perspective to give you an idea. We, we have like the 9000 series and, and the 3800 series that are stackables, but mm -hmm. you only you only connect to one manage when they're stacked, you only connect to one management um, interface. Right. There is only one. The other ones are are make, you know, just disappear from the thing. Now, if, exactly. if now, if that cable mm -hmm. fails, does it become uh, 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 a multiple router and continue to operate with multiple heads? Or does it just change which which one acts as a management point? Um, that I would have to look into, but... Um... Uh, these are creating a redundancy group, and we don't want to introduce that term here, but technically yeah. all these th things uh, that are composite now, like a composite device, just a redundancy group. And amongst these redundant routers, uh, which one of them is a part of this multi chassis router redundancy group, they are the uh, uh, one that is connected to the verifier. I think that is what the people are trying to talk about. That's not true mm -hmm. effectively, because typically if you do multi chassis, you do also multi chassis link aggregation groups, and therefore uh, you have typically more than one path to the verifier. Otherwise, the multi chassis concept doesn't make, make a lot of sense. So, uh, Elliot, please correct me if I'm wrong here. So, uh, I don't even think that it's true. There's only one router connected to the verifier in this redundancy group. I, I, you know what? Leave it open, and I'm, I'll run it past Eric and a few other people inside Cisco, um, mm -hmm. just to see if I to see if my understanding is incorrect. But um, I'll come, I will I will send a note now, and you and you should move on, okay? And I'll I'll, I'll we'll comment back to to the group, okay? Okay. So, so let's just look at the second diff. Um, okay. I, I've not uh, gotten this far yet, so I got to read. Inside verifier verifies them using. Okay. So that's a reasonable changes to just uses endorsement. Uh, obtained the same way as any other verifier in the verification process. So basically, we just added this. Um, yep. I, I, I think well, that's it, 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 she's changed verifies them to uses them in the verification process. Yeah, I think that's just a, a uh, yeah. ability. I have no problem with that. Yeah, okay. Same. Elliot's um, gonna come back with us as to whether this is this is a meaningful change or not. Okay. And we'll come uh so actually uh am I able to assign this to you, Elliot? Yes, I am able to assign it to you. Assuming that you're in this group, which you're not. Damn it. Uh, you're doing at comment, yeah. Yeah, you've never you've never commented, so it had some difficulty finding oh, no. you. Well, no, you can comment right now. <laughs> yeah, if you were to comment right now, you could take control. You could do something with it now, with uh, and we'd remember it was you, and you'd remember it was you. Elliot. Put the URL into the chat, and I will do so. Uh, 
Okay. One eighteen. There you go. Okay. So chopped out some text. As a result, the entity can. Now we gotta slow down because I have to actually go through and read each line. So. Yep. So we are now at one hundred twenty and not. 119. I'm sorry, I probably misclicked. I don't think it'll matter. Okay. What order? Uh, these just look like grammatical. The second part just look grammatical to me, and the first one is deleted a sentence as a result of any person. I'm not sure the advantage of removing the sentence, but I'm not sure the advantage of, I think um, it's redundant. Yeah. I think it's good to remove the sentence. I, mean, I like that part. I'm staring at the bottom paragraph. Um, so the, the, the thing the, that I don't like, rules, um, sorry. go ahead, Hank. Go ahead, These yeah. rules collapsed does not make a lot of sense without the sentence that says rules collapse before that. What so, do you mean? Uh, all she did was added a line break in front of what used to be line, uh, sorry, red 661. She just added a line break at the end of the, the same sentence. The, these collapsed rules. Yeah, this is just, just. Oh, I see. Or, or Thomas yeah, added the line okay. break. So, um, but it does move this sentence uh, to beginning the next paragraph. And that's probably not, or maybe that was splits the paragraph. It may be more useful um, like here. Is it? Uh, I read it. It looked like moving it was fine to me. I don't know if the, your opinion differs, but. Well, this blank line here was going to start a new paragraph. Right, right. I'm, I'm saying sure that's, I don't think that we should start uh, a new paragraph there. I, Michael is an artifact. I just my VI that's probably inserted a new line there. Okay. So, so, do you want to keep this? I think that what you want to do is do this. Okay. Yep. I think you want to let the new next line start a new paragraph. I think that's the point. Um, so now I think I understand Hank's point that uh, these collapsed roles only, I'm just going to repeat what Hank said, right? These collapsed roles, that phrase only makes sense after the sentence it says can aggregate more than one role into itself, right? Because yes. it's referring to the aforementioned ones and now you haven't aforementioned it. Right now, yeah. after includes at least one, right? I if agree. It includes at least one, it, it seems to have a disconnect when you say these collapsed. So I, I agree with Hank's point now. All right. So uh, I think we should not do this. We should leave the sentence intact. Um, the, the I like deleting the sentence that starts as a result. Um, and but not deleting the other sentence that Hank called out. Okay, so um, I don't know if we can do this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I think you have to put it back in on the green line, so. Yeah, I think you're right. So as a result. It, uh, no, I'd say delete that line. I mean, don't put that one back in, but um, start as with the result, word. And, so, so, oh, yeah, we don't want this one. It, right. We don't want put, put yeah, it. Yeah. And we don't need the word additionally either because that's an addition of the sentence that's removed. It's just an entity can. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, yep. And then put the, the line break after that. Yeah. Ops roles. Uh, uh, in this yes. document moves up to the top. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
There you go. Let's see what that looks like. To uh, start new paragraph after goals. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, uh, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm still staring at the bottom paragraph. I had a word issue in the bottom paragraph. I don't like the word "may" in six seventy nine. Um. Because an entity that has a role, it says may, well, no, actually, it's more like a must. So I would just say creates and consumes. It's not like you can have roles and not do the messages. That doesn't make sense, so. Yep. Uh, you can see in the old text, it was also creates and consumes, right? And so I'm fine deleting the word also. But uh, keeping the phrasing uh, the, as it was before with creates and consumes. So, yeah, so now the change is just the deletion of one word. After you apply that. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Elliot. Happy holiday to you too. Are you are are you a, a, a Swiss citizen yet, Elliot? Uh, hopefully soon. No, at another time, we can discuss. Have a great weekend, everyone. Happy holidays. Yep. Bye. So yes, today is a holiday for me. I'm on this call just because of you guys. So. Well, thank you for just doing this. Hang out with our friends too. Cheers. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wasn't sure if the U.S. was doing it. If you you're getting a day off on the yeah, because uh, yeah, because tomorrow is the actual uh, day. But of course, since tomorrow is a weekend, then they make uh, the adjacent uh, weekday be the holiday. My wife always complains. She says, "I don't want the day of off. I want the day after off." Yeah. So, what did you guys do for Canada? It was just Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. My my wife was went to work on Thursday morning. <laughs> you know, was was asleep was in bed by ten p.m. <laughs> the real adventure is that we went to the airport last night at eight thirty p.m. to pick up her brother who arrived from Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, we did this in our Volkswagen van, which where he actually can be six feet away from us in the back seat. <laughs> Um, to take him to to take him to his mother's house, who is not at his house at that house, so he can quarantine there for two weeks. Um, but on the way to the airport, the alternator died, <laughs> and so we managed to. Yeah, it was like, oh, can we make it home on the battery? Nope, it died. <laughs> while, it died in the in the pickup and the arrival uh, aisle while waiting for him to get his bags, and then we got it towed home. <laughs> so. That's what you get from driving 29 year old cars. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'd say drive with the quotes around it because it moves like once every two weeks, right? Especially this time during lockdown, we have nowhere to go. We're not going camping. So, this sentence was added here. Uh, no, well, all it did was up, it broke the comma up. bought into two sentences. Yeah, okay. So I guess that one's okay. And then we have a whole new sentence here. I thought this that, was very familiar to me. It does. Oh, it was moved up. Okay, so. Interesting. Why was it moved up? Um, oh, interesting. Um, so it just got moved up before the diagram. Was, the, yeah, that, she, she said that uh, she wanted to move paragraphs around in the. Okay, in so the, I got to stare at that since. I think I originally authored this text, so I'd have to mm -hmm. see if the flow still works, uh, I think. Uh, n no disagreement in principle, but whether the flow works, yeah. Yeah, I think so the flow works. I think the flow works between the first paragraph and the second one now. 
Yeah. Okay. I mean, originally we had to introduce this as a technical. Yeah. Yeah. This is technically what it's about. And then later on, we explain why, why yeah. we called it that. Yeah. But in this way, we, we've explained the terminology first, the analogy yeah. first, mm -hmm. and then explain the technical. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm okay that works better for most people. Yeah. Let's in this see, paragraph what's the, what's the second one um i i think so in 532 um i think we always need to keep the word attestation in front of results so we stick with the uh terminology term Doesn't like resulting result, so that's that's I think <laughs> the problem. Okay, and when the attestation, yeah, okay, I think uh, uh, adding uh, attestation result to attestation right. result is fine. Now, now let me read it again here. That, right, so delete resulting is examined by is not a change. There's just a change in the line break. I wonder maybe you insert the line break back in just to keep the diffs easy, just because you like having new sentences be on new lines. And, um, uh, uh, it's, it's going to be easier to do multiple lines, but anyway, yes, uh, yes, I'll yes. keep checking because I think the rest is not an actual change. I think the only thing change is the deletion of the word resulting, if I understand right. Uh, line break in between the and result. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, now it's clear that just deletion of one word, that's fine. And then anything down below this, or was just the deletion of the last paragraph that was moved? Yeah, then there's this. Okay, so then we have okay. same thing done for background check. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, let's check the flow. Yep, I think the, the move of the paragraph is fine. Uh, I see differences in line breaks there that make it harder to review, yeah. So there's a split in two test sentences, right? That's what it looks like to me. And the addition of the phrase performing both functions together. I think this is okay. Okay. Uh, yep, I'm okay with that paragraph. Moving on to the next one, which also has line break changes that make it harder to review. Two sentences. Device. Yeah, that's not gonna be, it's not going to be particularly easier because of the. That's. I guess okay. the sentences on the different lines. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, can you keep the line? Sorry, I'll ed edit again because. You can see, I think in the last sentence, there wasn't a change. In other words, uh, as such, in the bottom line, move it up to the previous line. Because then I think there will be no changes in the last one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so that's very clear. So comma becomes dot, new sentence, mm -hmm. and or 
for different yep. relying parties and or different use cases, period. For instance, a network device, and then we, that was a parenthetical to a different network device that's being axed to the network and to a server holding confidential data to gain access to the data. As such, both models. Oh, I could show, do you want me to move that up? I'm just uh, reading here. I think it's okay as is. I, think, I don't care anyway. All right. Yeah, I don't care anyway. Now that I've verified it. So. Yeah, please check the, um, the, the the sentence starting at four instance six twenty, because Kathleen' yeah. suggestion wasn't exactly this. Uh, I think I think she she misunderstood the example and uh, and her phrasing. Well, I different. mean, so, so each, each it. expands yeah. quite is clearly f is for instance. Yeah, no, I, I you did it that. right, Thomas. You did it right. It would, yeah, okay. I think you're, you're exactly correct. Yeah, I I did check that closely, and yep, you did it right. Okay, let's uh, do this. Okay, this this is a good change here. When's good hot moving to Azure? I have no idea. <laughs> It's like a logically separate company, so. I know, I know. Yeah, it's just like you could have IPv6 on GitHub. It seems so simple because it's all behind a single, it was all behind a single pair of IP addresses, <laughs> right? A single load balancer or something, or I don't know, some monster load balancer they bought. Uh, so this one looks like a bunch of line break changes that yeah. make it harder to review here. I wonder if we can restore the line breaks to where they used to be to make it easier to see what the changes yeah, were. I'm going to do that here. Well, okay, the so is probably that is, it might appraise the trustworthy. And so we have or operating system goes to next line. System component. Provided about it. Under the assumption. Provided by it. Uh, provided about it goes to next line, I mean. Uh, provided information offer is true. A new sentence, a stronger level of assurance. That part is okay, but uh, physically in the next line goes to the hardware is physically. Break before physically. And then break before implicitly trusted. Yeah, okay, push that. All right, so now we see that we've had or, comma, and assurance added. That's it. Okay, let's read this. Uh, the great Oxford comma. Okay. Yeah. I think it's okay. Oh, really? It has conflicts? How can it have conflicts? <laughs> Click on resolve and see. Uh, see what it says. Oh. Uh, is it line breaks? It's the braces at the bottom. 
there's diff crap in it. Okay. No, down at the bottom, is it just an empty line or what is it? Yeah. So. Well, edit it here. Can I edit it that's, there? That's the only. Yeah, you can. So, uh, for example, you can just delete all of the lines, twelve eighty nine yeah. through whatever. Yeah, and then. I don't think that's, that's that. the only one because if you scroll, if you use the, the, the rightmost scroll bar up to the top, you can see markers resolved. Yeah. And then commit merge. Uh, more line breaks. Yeah, let's fix this. Uh, okay. Um, Probably only the top paragraph, but yeah. I guess we're gonna have to do all of it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, four moves, I think. Wait. No, wait a minute. Yeah, you got it. Never mind. You did it right. Um, go, 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 go. To support. Need to su uh, right before uh, support the security properties, anywhere between support and properties, because the security are new words. So you could break after security or whatever. So it doesn't matter. Okay, and that which point we we diverge completely, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, is it a Z or an S? Uh, in uh, American English, it's a Z. In British English, it's an S. Okay. And so, usually RFCs tend to follow American spelling, and so. Apparently, if you consistently use British, the RFC Correct. will let you get away with it. But I've never <laughs> seen that actually happen. <laughs> That's what I understand too. If you are, so why, I don't think my, yeah. I'm surprised my browser thinks that I'm, I'm in a British, but I, I've never figured out how to convince it that of that fact. So <laughs> I don't know why. Send your dollar signs again, and then you know. It, it, you must know that you're in Canada. I guess so. <laughs> I, I guess it knows. Uh, why can't I commit? Oh, it's pending. Okay, it thinks it's pending. We're we're waiting for the GitHub to do something. Um, yeah, at one point I learned that the I should set my uh I should set my um it, there's locale. a system locale exactly. Yeah, yeah, I should set my system locale to um Dutch <laughs> in order to get the right combination of 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 language, dollar signs and date formats. <laughs> um but um, I don't think that works anymore because they went to the euro. But anyway, <laughs> uh, why is it doing it? it? Says pending. I don't know what it means. You still have to commit it, I think, don't you? Yeah, but I can well, commit it up there. Let's blow it, your change. It let's says blow pending. Your, no, no, below the change. What's down bottom? Uh, yeah, it's grayed out. That's weird. Okay, I don't know. I've never seen that before either. Because you start a review, you need to finish your review on the oh, right corner. Right. Okay. I guess. All right. I guess you're right. Okay, I did it wrong. I thought I clicked on the right thing. Just say, yeah. Uh, yep. Reflow to match line breaks. Uh, uh, do I want to comment? I guess I want to comment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now it's comment, and now I can commit the suggestion. <laughs> Confused by that because I didn't think I did the that right thing. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. So we basically got rid of two lines of. I think it was because you had your system locale set to Dutch. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and the the Dutch locale says, "Please consult Brussels before 
passing legislation. <laughs> okay, so the major part is we've added this this line here. Okay, uh, these words move a little bit. Uh, endorsement, appraisal policy, authentication. So this was all wrapped up in one one piece. It's now spread out here. Okay. So. Personally, I find it harder to read the addition of the words, the security properties of, and I would find that sentence far easier to read if those four words were deleted in 996. What do you think? It says, must support the security properties of confidentiality, integrity, and availability versus must support confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Much better. Which is closer to the old wording, but... Um, although I can see where she got it from because she back in the in red nine nine eight seven where it said additional security protections, and she probably didn't like the word protections and thought I was trying to change that to security properties and trying to preserve that phrase, but I don't think preserving it was necessary. Um, Do you like considerations? Uh, just getting down to that sentence. Um, And there's also a uh, redundancy, although. Yeah, I mean, we say it here, blah, yeah. blah, and then we right, say right. it again here. So in the old text, let's see, it talked about integrity and replay. And then often authentication, confidentiality, integrity, and so on. And now she said confidentiality has moved up to be a must, where previously it was uh, often. Um, and so that one is a technical change in meaning because she's elevating confidentiality from a should to a must. But it's not a normative must. Well, yeah. it's a normative document, but still the, the meaning is yeah. it's now basically said now, now the text implies that it's mandatory rather than, um, only often. And so I don't know if that's correct. Is it? I... So when is it that so when do we not support need su to support and and integrity? Um, well, that so part it was already a need, and I agree with that, right? Needs to support and often need to support report. additional. It says, it says often need to support additional security protections. So actually, for example, you know, there is a bug example, in the old text where it, where it duplicates integrity and replay in nine ninety eight. That one I right. agree that that doesn't belong there. So so. Often we need to support these other things, replay, denial of service, and privacy. Um, and so the implications are some use cases where either we are unable to do replay, denial of service, or we just don't need to. Um, um, no, if you look at red 996, replay attack prevention is in the needs to, right? So that's why I believe in the red... Uh, 998. Yes. Integrity and replay should have been deleted from 998 because yes, I agree. it's not just needed in many use cases. It needs to support up in 996. So those two words should be deleted. I agree with that. Um, meaning, uh, I claim that, which means, um, yeah, the, there's problems in both the red and the green text. So. All right. So what's the problem in the green text? We've elevated. Uh, confidential integrity and availability are always must. Needs to support well, it to end okay. replay. So I'm break them down into different changes here. Number one, yeah. it's elevated confidentiality to a needs to instead of a, 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 a often or in many cases. Um, I don't know that that's true. There may be cases where all the information is public because there's no PII, right? Maybe you're doing attestation of uh, you know, uh, traffic lights or something like that. That's already a public city device that there's no PII associated with. And so maybe attestation of such devices does not require confidentiality, for example. That seems right. Um, so that's problem number one in the green text that was fine in the red text. Uh, problem number 
two is that uh, green 996 inserts the word availability. Availability was never talked about before, and so we should discuss that one. Um, and what it means That's... for a protocol to support availability, and what it means for a service to support availability, which has to do with, you know, what's the percentage or what's the SLA of time, that kind of thing. What does it mean for a protocol to support that? I'm not sure. That's true. And, and availability is true of every internet protocol. You'd think if it actually was connected, yeah, it'd be available. It may have high or low availability, but it has availability. I mean, it's it's a non-statement. It's like yeah, yeah, know, exactly. It's a protocol that must transfer bytes. Right. So I agree. So that one is problem number two. I, I I interpret that to mean essentially some kind of defense against being unavailable, meaning, um, you know, um, whether that means. Uh, redundant architecture or or something like that. It's true of every protocol. Right, right. I, I, I agree with Lawrence. It's kind of a non-statement that um, you, you shouldn't have to have text that says that. Um, so uh, it also, so I, I'm, just, I'm just enumerating problems, right? I'm not trying to propose a solution to you. Another problem, so, so it used to have um, replay protection in that list, and now... Um, it's moved down. Oh, maybe that's not a change in meaning. Um, so but... I believe that this is a solution. Uh, is this is about the conveyance is more than the total protocol. So this is security considerations. That that is true. Conveyance is not necessarily a protocol. You are right. You know, flash drive, uh, uh, sneaker net is an example of conveyance. That's not a not a protocol. Point is that this is not a requirement on the evidence container. It's a, it's a, it's a, it seems to be a requirement True. on the thing that conveys the evidence container. True. Uh, and and so, um, the evidence container might support con confidentiality and integrity, meaning we don't have to do that when we convey them. But yeah, yeah. well. No, I think I, I think your observation is correct, Michael. So I guess there's a bunch of stuff that I don't like about the green. Although I think your 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 point is is right, Michael. I'm sorry. I didn't, um, what, was, what was that point again? What I didn't understand. Uh, that this text is talking not about the uh, requirements for uh, the EAT, but requirements for the protocol that carry the EAT. And so, for example, if the EAT has its own integrity, then the requirements for the protocol that carries the EAT is weaker because the EAT already takes care of it at the uh, data level. Okay. Now, so if you can carry an EAT with integrity protection, you can carry it across a protocol that doesn't support integrity protection. You know, maybe it's a unreliable sneaker net or something that's carrying the EAT. Yeah, okay. If it gets corrupted, well, then your signature won't match when you try to pass the, when you try to parse the EAT, so. Okay, but that, uh, all right. All right, so I'm wondering if we should leave this one open and do, have, do another uh, pass on it, or if you want to, because it's probably going to take us 10 minutes to fix this. Do you want to go on to the Kathleen's other issue, or are oh, we on to eight minutes? But at least I agree that there were some issues in the old text that uh, should be addressed. So, um, at least uh, thank you, Thomas, to filing the pull request so we could review this. This was good. But yeah, sorry for sorry for all these line breaks and yeah. Uh, I don't know. If somebody else wants to sign up, take a shot at this one. Otherwise, if you leave it, I might be able to get to it by Tuesday. But we'll see. I mean, I'm not going to do it until Monday, but uh, I may be able to get to it on Monday not, if somebody doesn't do it before then. And I'll just uh, do merges into this because the branch here is a branch in the regular repo, right? This is not a fork. It's in a branch, right, Thomas? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So then I can, or anybody else can commit to that same branch, just like Michael is doing. Okay. I wonder if this is Kathleen, Ka Kathleen Mori, R-T-K-M-E. I don't know. She is, yeah. Uh, EMC Dell. Or maybe E is for EMC. I don't know. Does it say that? It doesn't. Say no, it doesn't. You'd have to look in the profile. Yeah. 
very non yeah. Right. Tom, yeah. can you bring this back um, to her attention? I sure. think I think you repl- you sent a message with uh, all of these links. And so yeah. if you bring that one back to her attention. Um, that would be great. So, okay. So, there's still uh, one more that we haven't looked at, right? Which one did we look at? Was that at 118 or 122? We, 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 we um, gave this back to ah, okay. Uh, Elliot. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So we have looked at uh, those Kathleen's. We've looked at them all. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so let's, let's just take a gander. So this is, this is, uh, Hank's fix. I tried to unrebase the text and I ran into kind of a bunch of shit. And part of the issue is I'm not happy that I, I can revert some things because, because I have to revert them with no commit, no verify because they wind up with something not working anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Hank seems to have gone through and I think removed the parts that were a problem. Um, although wasn't CC one of the ones we, we, we didn't like? But you did that CC in a different part. Just in a separate PR, so I did not want to create conflicts here. And right, uh... right. and I'm fine with that. Meaning, since that's decoupled, right? Um, I think right, yeah. in just glancing at this one, I did not open this one before the call. But so thanks, Hank, for putting this one together. But it looks like um, I would prefer this one be split into two different PRs. One that uh, um, I, I'm open to your to, to being convinced otherwise, but you can see right now the end result of this one is it has both example three and an example four. Um, uh, I think my preference is to put example three back in, but only merge example four at, at such point as there becomes a referenceable document that's not just an individual draft. And so in other words, as soon as the working group adopts a document that includes the handle-based stuff, then example four gets merged in. I thought that that's what we talked about last time. I'm open to other possibilities, but that would be my preference. Yeah, I don't, again, uh, this could be a blocker if this takes its time. That's my only concern. If you're fine with that, then we can uh, do this this way, you're, like you're proposing. Meaning, uh, uh, sorry, go ahead, Michael. Uh, I was going to say, so we could throw in an XXX. This requires a reference, and we could remove it if we don't get it in. That, um, that I, like I said, I can live with that. That's not my preference, but I can live with that. Um, can I can I insert here? Is this where the right place would be? Yeah. A uh, an adopted referenceable referentiable. I don't know document referable. Is that the word reference? Citable. <laughs> adopted citable document. That was probably misspelled too, eh? Uh, Citable. It says it should have a dash. So let's see. I think I'll open this on my own machine because I would see if this one is addressed one of my other points on there, which is now off the screen. So let me just open it up to see what was done here. I'm looking for the diagram. Is there a diagram in the handle distribution section? Yeah. So, okay. So one of my bullet points from last time, issue 111, is not addressed in this one. Which one was it? I tried to fix all of them. But, uh, um, the, uh, the, from Well, we st- I'm looking at the diagram. The diagram wasn't changed anyway, so maybe you addressed it some other way. This had to do with um, whose clock is time HD um, measured in terms of which entity? So there is a text description here. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you, if you point me to the text, that might be fine. Table, or are you, are you talking about table no, no, no. text or expositional text? So again, uh, it, it doesn't matter. You tell me where was it addressed? It is in the, if it is it's in, in text, text somewhere, it might be fine. All right. Um, it is in the text. So where should I? There. I mentioned I haven't read this before the call, so just point me to where I should read. So, and I, I should read this after the call, but since we're at two minutes too, but. So there is text about HD and additionally latency jitter for HD between all entities involved is assumed to be less than the time drift of local clock 
So you can see this uh, uh, sent okay. simultaneously by the distributor. Sure. And then sure. there is a jitter introduced, but we assume that it is less than the clock drift variance. Okay, so here's the problem that I have. I'm going to refer to two lines, line in the green, line 12, yeah, yeah. 12 and line uh, 12, 24. And so if we can get both of those on the screen at the same time, 12, 12 and 12, 24 on the screen at the same time. Ooh, maybe. Uh, uh, Sorry, 12. You, you, you got to expand. It's in the collapse portion. It's in the collapse portion. Ah, the, right. The, Thank you. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. So 12 12 says that yeah. handles RB. Well, okay. Grammar. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Handles can be nonces, right? So if handles are nonces, not signed to time stamps, correct? As I'm thinking, I'm going to walk down that, that, that thought branch. Okay. So let's yeah. pretend that the handles are nonces. Okay. Line 1224 says what gets communicated across a protocol is time HD. Okay. What does no, it mean? No, no, HD? time HD. What's that? Uh, this is no, 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 no. Is never Once it goes on the line, you can see all the ones on the line uh, on the horizontal lines are all you know are all message content. Okay. The ones on the vertical lines are just time uh, times according to clocks. Lines, uh, uh, horizontal lines are message content. So this one says we're putting a timestamp into the content, and line twelve twelve says no, that can no, be no, and those are contradictory. That was my point. Sorry, this is this, this is my point. Okay, this is this is a diagram uh, expression issue. That's uh, that's what I was calling out. Is that one was not addressed. So, no, so you're saying that you're saying, you're saying you're saying that 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 it shouldn't say time HD. It should say handle. Yes. Right. But so, like, again, if you look at you know uh, twelve thirty, uh, all the other ones somewhere. where time is on a horizontal line, that means that the that the actual timestamp appears in the message. Yeah, that's of course not true. So it can right, be true; right. it's in the text, but it doesn't have to. So, um, so where do you want to have the time HD before the handle well, horizontal line Michael or was after? Suggesting, Michael was suggesting twelve twenty four. I should say handle instead of time HD or something like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, so it's the handle. No now, now who handle. sends? Who sends? So the handle is sent by the the third party time entity. Right, which is none of those three entities. If I understand, none of those right. three entities. So time right. HD doesn't actually show up on this graph. If in that well, case, technically, there's lines is, coming to all three of those that come from a fourth entity. And that is not true anymore back. because I, uh, I it's called a tender received. So basically, you can put it after the horizontal line for each no, of the three entities. Would you do you think if that I understand the, right? If I understand right, you have a handle distributor, which is none of those three entities. It's a fourth role yes. with the handle distributor. I Why not be helpful the diagram? if the diagram showed that, and then there are three lines that come from the handle distributor, one that goes to a tester that carries the handle, one that goes from the handle distributor to the relying party that carries the handle, and one that comes from the handle distributor to the verifier that carries the handle. You show that as separate lines. That would be more clear if that's the intent. Yeah, I, I, that is true, but I don't know how to draw this. I cannot draw okay. this uh, really. So I, I would suggest Maybe. you put it, I'm not going to try to do it here, but I would yeah. suggest you put it over here on the right. I agree. Okay, um, maybe I can draw it. I don't know. Um, handle <laughs> uh, distributor, um, and yeah, it sounds like maybe Michael, you want to take the next shot. We're after eight o'clock right now, <laughs> with my time. So, um, but yeah, uh, I just want to. So I'm I, I'm just helping to explain which problem of mine is not addressed yet. This is one part of it, and then if we. Scroll down to there's going to be one other piece of it, which is uh, let me get the line number for you here. Um, 1246 is the other part of that problem. Uh, and and so and that it would go down yeah. to connect to I'm going to hit cancel because I don't really want to do this. Yeah, I, I agree with where you're going, Michael. What, what okay. you say would make and sense. It would come to down and connect to this line here. So right. it would be over oh, here being, and yeah. I would personally do it as three separate horizontal lines on yeah. successive um, physical lines. So three horizontal lines. I agree. Okay. And and actually, you know what? One nice thing about that, if you do this, Hank, put them in a non-obvious order. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like relying oh, on a verifier, a tester. Okay. Because I thought like, you were signing up to do this, Michael. I can, I can do it. I can do it. I just clearly, I don't think I can do it in this in this thing because I know I can't edit this part. I can't make suggestions. No, but there. you can do it on your own machine or something by I don't know Tuesday or something, maybe. 
Yeah, I can uh, do it on my own machine okay. by Tuesday. So I, uh, I should and, drop, but I wanted to have a comment on 1246 before I drop. So. Okay. Okay. 1246 is the one that has the inequality, right? The actual security check here with the deltas here. This makes sense if and only if time HD was communicated. If you replace the handle being communicated up above, then this sentence no longer makes any sense. Agreed. So this sentence I, I claim is broken too. Appraiser policy here. The, the, the sentence before it can be determined by a appraiser policy. It says it doesn't have to be in there. It can be a policy thing on the verifier side. Then the verifiers to keep track of evidence. So, so, so you can only the check it the, 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 the time HD if the time HD is communicated, right? Which the current diagram has. No, we just have to change the diagram and not the communicate. Verifier is also getting it. Uh, if it gets two handles and it knows when it gets the handles, it also can infer when the other ones get the handle. Therefore, it knows the interval. It doesn't have to be explicitly uh, expressed. Sorry. So, okay. so I think really this text needs to be fixed. It's broken right now. Okay. So the point so is that the point is that. Extended. Is that the time of the HD is a measurement that the verifier makes, which is when he gets the HD. It's not okay. communicated in the protocol. No, 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 no. No. The problem is time HD is yeah. the time at the handle distributor, not the time at the verifier. Those are two different clocks. No, it is not. Clocks. Look at the table. It's, it's when it's received. Um, in that case, the table is wrong because the time at which it's received by the attester, the time at which it's received by the wrong party, and the time it's received by the verifier are different, right? And so, hold on. Yeah, and it's supposed that the digital okay. latency that is acceptable. It's in the text. Um, all right, so 1855 or 1055 is broken in my reading right now because okay, it's, it's phrased as handled point. distributed. Distributed implies to me sent, but then it talks about received by all entities. You can't have a time that's received by all entities because it's received at a different time by each entity. I think I understand your point. So, so okay. So anyway, I don't, right now, I'm trying to clarify what I think the problems are. You guys can yeah, figure out how to fix them. Yeah, right? I think we can fix that. Right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So, um, I guess we're going to end the call here. Yeah. Um, Hank, uh, if you, um, I, I can I can this put something on this. why I think it's easier to split this into two PRs because I think one can be merged immediately and then we can still be iterating on the other one. But. Which part do you think you can be merged immediately? The second the part that adds back in example three, because that just restores text that was already in there. Yeah, could we continue this next time? Because I really have to drop, unfortunately. All right, yeah, all right. So yeah. I I will um do something to split that up and um, right. I'm going to edit this this line a little bit because right. I think I agree that I don't think I think it has to be the time that you it's a time that you measure the reception of HD locally. All I right. Think. Uh, thank you Michael for volunteering. Okay. For getting volunteered. All right. Bye bye. Thanks. Uh, thanks guys. Uh, minutes, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the fireworks. Woo. <laughs> are they are they are fireworks remote controllable yet? <laughs>